Ephesians tells us how we should speak. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. See, the focus here is not on what I need to tell you, but on what you need to hear. Have you ever had someone tell you something that was true? And maybe you needed to hear, but that was not the moment for it. I think of a time when a great uncle of mine passed away and I wanted to show love to his widow. And so I wanted to invite her to a concert that I knew she enjoyed that kind of thing. And I wanted her to say, you are still, I want her to know that she was still welcome. Except I invited her in the funeral line. That was not the moment for that. She was still so in the midst of grieving. Her husband was right there lying in the casket. It was not good for her at that moment. And so we turn our focus on what the other person needs. And Jesus was the master at that. Uh, a man is brought to Jesus for healing. And instead of healing him, the first thing Jesus does is forgive him. Jesus knew what that person needed. Jesus meets a woman at the well. And instead of leading with forgiveness, he leads with law because he knew that she had to face what she had done. And then he brings forgiveness. See, Jesus knew what people needed by stopping and listening and knowing them. So let me encourage you before you speak, stop and listen. Listen to what the other person is saying. Listen and see where they're at in their lives. And then as you speak, speak to what they need at that moment just like Jesus did for you.